seen here with the Ruckus R760 tri-band 4x4 Wi-Fi 6E access point. Now about the R760, this is currently the top Ruckus access point. Now you can see on the front it has three bands, 2.4, 5.8, and 6. Now if you look at the 6 gigahertz band, it has a blue light, that means the client's connected. Now the new Ruckus Cloud R1 just launched this week and I was able to onboard the R760 to the R1 cloud. I had to have the Ruckus support engineers push a special firmware for the R760, but now it seems to be working great. Now the R760 has a five gigabit ethernet port. I'm running on a 2.5 gig switch with 802.3 BT PoE. For maximum performance, you should have a BT5 PoE switch or injector, or use the standalone power supply. It will run at a diminished capacity with standard PoE or PoE plus. Now, six gigahertz gives this thing a lot of extra capacity. The spectrum's huge now, so we have lots of non-overlapping 160 megahertz channels. So for home use, you could definitely use the 160 megahertz channels, and I'm getting speeds over one gig with my Comcast internet. Or to like and subscribe for more videos about Wi-Fi. My laptop has an Intel AX210 2x2 Wi-Fi 6 adapter. Now, for business use, you should probably run this at 80 megahertz mode, uh, it'll give you multiple non-overlapping channels. Now this is also fully backward compatible with every Wi-Fi client out there. It supports AWS 11B, uh, A, B, G, and N, as well as AC. It has 2.4 and 5 gigahertz also. There you go, this is the R760 from Ruckus. We have them in stock right now, so if you need one of these for your network, this would be like the best possible situation with the new iPhone 15 coming out, we're pretty sure it's going to support Wi-Fi 6E, so this would be the access point to get.